Hello students, let's do integers exercise 1b. In this exercise, we are going to be doing division of integers. But let's revise multiplication also alongside. So, you multiply a positive integer into another positive integer, your product or your answer is also positive. So, let's take examples side by side. Okay, now suppose I take a positive integer that is 3 into another positive integer 5. 3 fives are 15. Okay, now let's take division. When you divide a positive integer by another positive integer, your answer is a positive number. So, let me take an example. Let me divide a positive integer 5 is a positive integer, isn't it? By another positive integer 15. So, I have 5 by 15. Now, here I can cancel these two, both by 5. 5 1s are 5, 5 3s are 15. So, what do I get here? I get 1 by 3. So, my answer is positive. So, when I multiply a positive integer with another positive integer, my answer is a positive integer. When I divide a positive integer by a positive integer, my answer is also positive. Now, this is called a positive number. It's not an integer. Integers are not in the form of fractions. Okay, but my division can have an integer as an answer also. Now, let's go to the next one. Now, a negative integer into another negative integer is a positive integer. So, let's take the same example given above. So, minus 3 into minus 5. Okay, so signs when you multiply minus into minus is plus. 3 fives are 15. So, we have got a positive integer though we multiplied two negative integers. We multiplied two ne negative integers but we got a positive integer as our answer. Similarly, when you divide a negative integer by another negative integer, your answer is a positive number. Again, let's take the same example here, make it negative. Minus 5 divided by minus 15. Now, the signs will get cancelled. The signs get cancelled. And this I can divide by 5. 5 1s are 5. 5 3s are 15. So, as you can see, I've got 1 by 3 and there is no minus sign with it. So, it has become positive. So, when you multiply negative into negative, your answer is positive. When you divide negative by negative, your answer is positive. So, keep this in mind. When you multiply the same signs or you divide the same signs, your answer is positive. Now, what if the signs are different? Like here, when you take a positive integer and you multiply it with a negative integer, your product is a negative integer. Now, let's take an example. Minus 3 into 5. So, 1 is negative, 1 is positive. So, this is plus, isn't it? If there's no sign, it's understood to be plus. So, when you take a positive and a negative integer, when signs are different, your answer is negative. Then you multiply the numbers. 3 fives are 15. So, this is minus 15. Similarly, when you divide also, when you divide a positive integer by a negative integer, your answer is a negative number. So, let's take a positive integer. Minus plus 5 is positive and take a negative integer minus 15. So, your answer is negative. Okay, it's a negative number and we can cancel 5 and 15. 5 1s are 5, 5 3s are 15. So, here what do we get? We get minus 1 by 3. Minus 1 by 3. Again, if the signs are different, so this time you're taking a negative integer into positive, your answer is going to be negative. Similarly, when you divide a negative integer by a positive integer, your answer is a negative number. So, all you have to do is keep this in mind. Plus into plus is plus or when you divide plus by plus, it's plus. Similarly, minus into minus is plus. Division also when signs are the same, it's plus your answer. But when signs are different, minus into plus is minus or plus into minus is minus. So, keep this box in mind. You will be able to do your multiplication and division sums. So, now we are going to begin our division sums. So, now let's divide 117 by 9. Divide 117 by 9. 
117 is the dividend, 9 is the divisor. Now, since both are positive signs, when there's no sign, it's understood it's positive. Since both are positive, our answer will also be positive. Now, all we have to do is divide 117 by 9. We have 11, 9 ones are 9 minus 11 minus 9 is 2. I bring down 7, that's 27. 9 threes are 27. So this is our answer here for the sum. The answer is plus 13. Because both are positive signs, your answer will also be positive. Next one. Here we have minus 117 by 9. So that is minus 117, 117 divided by 9. Now this is a plus sign. When signs are different, your answer will be negative. So I put a minus sign. And now you divide 117 by 9. We've already done that division and we got our quotient as 13. So our answer here is minus 13. Okay, so when signs are different, you must remember you have to put the minus sign. Question 3. So here also we have the first number, that is the dividend is 117 and the divisor is minus 9. So here we have 117 with a plus sign and 9 with a minus sign. So here signs are different. Plus into minus is minus using the same thing for division also. So we put a minus sign and divide 117 by 9. You already know the answer. It's 13. So what is our final answer with the sign? It's minus 13. Next one. Here we have minus 117. Okay divided by minus sign, minus 9 here. So what has happened here? Here we can see both the signs are minus. Minus into minus is plus. Now we can even cancel the signs. Minus into minus is plus. So we can put the plus sign or we don't even have to put. It's understood. 17, 117 divided by 9, we already know is 13. So our answer to this question is plus 13. Question 5. This time we have to divide 225 by minus 15. 225 doesn't have a sign. It's understood that it is plus. And when signs are different, your answer is negative. Minus. Now we have to divide 225 by 15. So let's do that division. 15. Ones are 15. Now we have to minus. So this is 1, 12, 12 minus 5 is 7, you bring down 5, it's 75. 15 fives are 75 minus, so we've got our quotient as 15, let's write it here. And our final answer here is minus 15. Question 6, so here we have minus 552. So let's write that down, minus 552 divided by 24. Now 552 has a minus sign, 24 doesn't, so it's understood it's a plus sign. So here signs are different. So our final answer will be negative. So we've got the sign, now let's divide 552 by 24. 24 ones are 24, 24 twos are 48. So now we can subtract, we need to borrow. So this becomes 4 and this is 15. 15 minus 8 is 7 and you bring down 2, it's 72. Now 24 into 3, 24 into 3 is 72. So we've got a quotient as 23. So let's write it down here, 23. And our final answer with the sign is minus 23. Question 7. Now here, let's write down the question, minus 798 divided by minus 21. So, signs are the same, so the answer will be positive. You can cancel off the signs and divide 798 by 21. So, let's try 21 into 3 because we need to get a number close to 79. It is there in the question. We need to get a number close to 79. So let's try 21 into 3. So 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6. We can use this. So 21 into 3 is 63. 
minus 9 minus 3 is 6, 7 minus 1, 6 is 1 and you bring down 8. Now 21 into 8, let's try into 8. 8 ones are 8, 8 twos are 16, 168. Yes, we can use this. So 21 into 8 is 168 minus. We've got this. So we've got our quotient here. Our quotient is 38 and the sign is plus. So you don't even have to put the sign. It's understood. It's plus. So this is our answer. Question 8. Let's divide minus 910 by 26. 910 has a minus sign. 26 does not have. So it's understood. It is plus. Now the signs are different. So our answer is negative. Now we have to divide 910 by 26. So let's do that division. Now we need to get a number close to 91. So let's try 26 into 3. 3 6 are 18, carry 1. 3 2 are 6 plus 1, 7. Let's use this. So 26 into 3 is 78 minus. Now we need to borrow from 9. So this is 8 and 11. 11 minus 8 is 3. 8 minus 7 is 1 and 0. Now, we need to get 130. So let's try 26 into 5. 5, 6 are 30, carry 3. 5, 2 are 10 plus 3 is 13. Yes, we've got 130. So 26 into 5 is 130 minus. So the quotient is 35 and we already have a minus sign here. So which is our final answer? With the sign, it is minus 35. Question 2, evaluate. Evaluate means find the answer when you divide these two. Okay, so let's do that division. So here we have minus 234 divided by 13. Now 13 doesn't have a sign, so it will get the plus sign. Now here signs are different, so your answer is negative. Now let's divide 234 by 13. So 13 ones, because we need to get a number close to 23. 13 ones are 13 minus, now this is 0, 1, and I bring down 4. I've got 104. So let's try 13 into 8. 8 threes are 24, carry 2. 8 ones are 8, 9, 10. That's 104. So 13 into 8 is 104. So we've got our quotient. Quotient is 18. So let's write it down here. Quotient is 18, but with the sign, our final answer is minus 18. Next one, 234 divided by minus 13 this time. So let's write 234 divided by minus 13. This time, 234 doesn't have a sign, so we'll give it the plus sign. And the signs are different, so our answer is negative. And we've already done the division of 234 by 13 here. And we got a quotient as 18. So let's write our answer. Our answer here is also 18. With the sign, final answer is minus 18. Next one, minus 234 divided by minus 13. So that's, let's write it down, minus 234 divided by minus 13. Here the signs are the same. So your answer is positive. It's a positive sign or you don't even have to write the sign. It's understood. But let's put the sign here and cancel out. These signs get cancelled. Divide 234 by 13 which has already been done here and our quotient is 18. So the answer here is plus 18. You can even write 18 without a sign. Question 4. 374 divided by minus 17. So let's write that down. 374 divided by minus 17. Now 374 doesn't have a sign, so let's put the plus sign. Signs are different, so the answer is going to be negative. Now let's divide 374 by 17. We need to get a number close to 37. So 17 into 2. 2 7s are 14, 
carry 1, 2 1s are 2 plus 1, 3, 34. So 17 2s are 34 minus 7 minus 4 is 3 and 4. So again I've got 34, that means 17 into 2 is 34. So when you minus, you get 0 as your remainder. So here we've got 30, 22 as a final answer and with the sign our answer is minus 22. Question 5. Here we have minus 374 divided by 17. So this time 17 doesn't have a sign. So let's give it a plus sign. And signs are different. So your answer is negative. And minus 374 by, uh, divided by plus 17. First the sign is minus. The numbers have already been divided here. And we've got the quotient as 22. So minus 22 is our answer to this question. Next one, we have minus 374. So the sign is minus 4, 374 divided by minus 17. So signs are the same. That means the answer is positive. Okay, so the signs get cancelled. Now 374 divided by 17 has already been done. So the answer is 22. So answer, final answer to this question is plus 22. Question 7, minus 728. So let's write that, minus 728 divided by 14. So 14 doesn't have a sign, let's give it a plus sign. Signs are different, minus and plus, they are different. So the answer is negative. Now let's divide 728 by 14. Let's divide. We need to get a number close to 72, close to 72. So let's try 14 into 5. Let's multiply 14 into 5 and see what we get. 5 fours are 20, carry 2, 5 ones are 5, 6, 7, 70. We can use that. So 14 into 5 is 70 minus, I have 2 and I bring down 8. Now my number is 28 and 14 into 2 is 28. So minus, what is our quotient? Our quotient is 52. So the answer to this question is minus 52. Next question, 272 divided by minus 17. So 272 divided by minus 17. So let's give this a plus sign. Signs are different. So plus and minus. So the answer will be negative. Now let's divide 272 by 17. Let's get a number close to 27. So 17 ones are 17 minus 0, 1 and 2. 100 and Now let's try 17 into 6 because we need to get a number that is close to 102 or 102 itself. 6 sevens are 42. Carry 4. 6 ones are 6. Plus 4 is 10, 102. So 17 into 6 is 102. Minus. So the quotient for the sum is 16. And let's write it down here. So the final answer here is minus 16. So we'll stop with this for now, children. In our next video, we will continue with the remaining questions. Thank you, children.